What's up guys, Twitchy here, and welcome to part 18 in the Arc Server Manager videos. Today we're going to be going over stack size overrides. If you guys want to be able to increase the amounts of items that stack inside of your inventory and stuff, this is the place you want to be. Now keep in mind, this only works for things that stack already. So stone, thatch, you know, raw meat, things of that nature. It will not work on things that do not stack, but things that do stack, you can increase the amounts here. If you guys don't need this video, feel free to skip back and forth in the tutorial series. Hopefully you find something that you do need or something that you at least find helpful. But if you guys do need this section, hang on tight because we're getting into it. All right, so this is a rather small section, but it's rather powerful. You can get pretty granular here or you can just blanket everything. This first slider bar is to blanket everything. So I want to double the amount of my stack size for everything that stacks. And if you want to do that, you, I mean, you got this slider bar here. But what we're going to do for an example right now is we're just going to take that to two. And you guys can see down here we have a little plus sign. We're going to click on that one. So this is if you want to do individual things. So let's say you blanket everything, you got times two on everything, but you really want raw meat to be a pretty big stack. So we're going to go in here and we're going to click this little drop down. And just like in the last video, these take a while to populate. So we're going to take a little break and we'll come back. All right, so it's populated up. We're going to go ahead and go to, what is it? Arc Prime, I believe. And we're going to look for raw meat. All right, raw meat. So we're selecting raw meat, and I want that stack size to be 1,000. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save that out. Just like the rest of these that we're putting in, if you go over to this little disk looking thing, the save stack size items data, and you click on that, you can get the code or the, the command basically that gets put into the INI file. You can copy these out and import them in later into other things if you find something that you really like. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get server started up. My test server started up. I'm going to sit down at a different PC and we're going to go ahead and see what it looks like on the server. All right, guys, so we're on the server. I went ahead and emptied out my inventory. Keep in mind when you make these changes, it's not going to automatically update your inventory stacks. If you come into this after the server's been running, it's going to have your stat, your normal stack sizes until you pick up more things. And then it's going to, you know, of course, allow it to stack more. So we just dropped a whole bunch of crap here. Um, we're going to pick up a whole bunch of crap here, right? It's going to over encumber us so it can't move. But I wanted to just get in and show you guys real quick. You see now stack of wood are now 200 instead of 100 stacks of thatch are now 400 instead of 200 and stacks of stone are now 200 instead of 100 and meat did stack to a thousand so guys that's how you can set up different stack sizes inside of arc server manager i hope you guys found the video helpful and somewhat informative and i hope to see you guys on the next one